It's Chris Breers, and today here in Michigan, it is probably one of the most uh, beautiful days this year. Um, supposed to get up to about 70 today, which we haven't seen since last August. So I figured that I would go ahead and uh, do an install video today. And what I'd like to install is Mosquito Jack Rails, which basically became famous on the, uh, the Mustang GT350 and the Mustang GT350R and basically they decided that everybody liked them so much that they started making them for other Ford products such as the Focus ST and the Focus RS. So we're going to be installing these on the Focus RS and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the car up on the uh, wheel lifts there and get underneath it and we'll get going on it. <laughs> So the first thing that we're noticing here is that you don't see in the videos, especially by the supplier that sells them, is that the RS has carpet on both sides for sound deadening. So we're going to go ahead and have to remove this carpet on both sides to get the rails on, which are just some easy pins that we're going to pull out with a trim tool. And it looks like two bolts over near the uh, prop shaft and exhaust. All right, so to get each side panel off, you're going to have your two 10 millimeter nuts, which are furthest inside the car by the exhaust. You're going to have two regular style push pins which are at the very front of the uh, side panel and then you're going to have these panel screws which are supposed to work by spinning them loose and then dropping them down. Unfortunately take very care when taking these off because they adhere not only to this but also the stud that's sticking into the uh, down out of the body and you might come out with something like this where you can see that the stud is a uh, complete this the stud this plastic stud is completely broken off onto the stud so definitely loosen them up as you're doing that try to put a little bit of downward pressure on it while you're loosening them until you feel them come and collapse and then you'll be able to take them off and actually can leave them right in the uh in the um side shield here i just wanted to take them out to let you know that there there is risk of damaging these pretty severely uh if you're not careful with them all right now next we're going to be removing this rear panel which is on the very back of the car the plastic panel which is held on by t30 torx bits three of them one right here one in the very back and one right on the pinch weld here all right here's the back plate removed now take note that in this back plate there are little rubber plastic pieces which expand when you put those Torx bits in them. They'll pull out very easily once you get the Torx bits out and then the one that is actually in the pinch weld should stay in. The next thing we're going to want to do is remove the two 13 millimeter studs that are held on right there and right there. Stop at the two secures. Do not remove those, just remove these two ear studs right here. We're also gonna do the same thing on the other side when we get there. So as you can see on the front side of the Steeda jacking rail, it's got two hole secures. This secure will be held in by one of the original 13 millimeters that we loosened. This one will be held in by a flag nut system, shown here, which will be inserted into a hole under the car with the stud sticking down to secure this center one. So this one will be secured to the factory stud and this one will be secured to the supplied flag nut. And now since we're using the factory location right here for the first bolt, we're going to need to go ahead and take this flag nut and put it into this oval hole and get it even so it's pulling on the chassis evenly in there. All right, now that you can see, I have the steeded jack rail in place with the flag nut hand tightened and also the other 13 millimeter nut hand tighten. We're gonna to move to the rear section of the vehicle. All right, now working towards the rear of the vehicle, what we're going to do is we are going to take this piece of provided hardware with the, the grip head down, obviously the nut up, and we're gonna put it through this larger hole here. We're gonna take it and put it up through this larger hole so that 
the stud is actually coming through here and that is where the rear will secure. All right, now that we have both the front bolts secure, which are both 13 millimeter, and we also have the rear secure, which is a 16 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and, although Steeda did not provide any torque specifications for these, I'm gonna go ahead and torque them down to the torque specification for this front cross rail, which is 40 foot pounds. All right, now that we got the uh, brace put in, can take a look here and see that it will be definitely of great help when jacking up the vehicle. As you can see it starts right there and maybe goes about a half an inch underneath, maybe a quarter of an inch underneath the pinch weld all the way to the front. Um, get down in there a little bit. There you go. Um, it's sturdy. It feels like a good product to me. Um, a few things could have been done differently. Done differently such as how the bolts are handled and not giving torque specs but other than that it feels sturdy and like i said it secured pretty well and and fit right on so i have no issues with it so now we're going to go ahead and throw the carpet and the uh, back plastic piece back on and we're done all right guys so after the install of the steeda jacking rails um, the concept in mind is a really good idea uh, it does make the car easier to jack up without having to worry about bend bending your pinch welds. But unfortunately, I, after getting them in place and actually taking them back off and putting them back on, I could not get the carpet to fit with the rails in place. Um, it's, it seems like a whole lot of work to alter the carpet or whatnot. If somebody has put these on as, and has gotten the carpet to sit into place, if you could leave a comment below, I would really appreciate that. Otherwise, I hope you guys like the install. I hope that it sheds a little bit of light on these things. Um, would I put them on again? Probably not, but will they be a help? You know, if I need to jack the car up quick or if during autocross season, I want to do two wheels at once and jack it up in the center, then yeah. So um, like I said, if you could, if, you, if you've gotten the carpet in successfully with the rails, on the uh, Focus RS, leave a comment below, and uh, if you like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. Uh, if not, you know the other option, and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Uh, I've got a couple more coming, hopefully this weekend. Thank you.